TradeMonster.com, four and a half stars, best online broker, two years running according to Barron's, TradeMonster.com. Welcome, this is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, this is Jamie Tyrrell of Group One Trading. Well, an absolute blowout number on the employment this morning, and we've seen the market move from unchanged to up 17 on the S&P 500. This has led to the most VIX volume that we've probably had in three or four weeks. A lot of paper re-examining the VIX as the front month future continues to plummet and the VIX cash moves below 17. If you look at the spread between February and July futures right now, it's almost $8. So the market is really pricing in that this VIX lull we're seeing right now is a short-term lull. It could go lower in the next week, next couple weeks, but the market is still pricing in the July future at about $26.5, implying that they believe the long-term average for the VIX is much, much higher and will revert to a mean significantly higher than 17. Now, when that happens and if that happens remains to be seen. If that does not happen over the next few months, you are going to see those back month futures just get pummeled. If it does happen, you're going to see a big move out of the VIX cash back in line with those futures. The trading today has been a ton. We're at, we had big April and May Vega buyers yesterday, implying that the market thought that there could be big moves in those futures, perhaps down to come in line with the cash, perhaps up to come in line with the longer term vol expectations. But there was a buyer of the 27, 21 May, April strangle yesterday. Today it's the May 26, April 20 strangle. The customer paid $4.45, which was a huge increase in Vega in both of those months. In the front month, we've had about a dollar move down downwards on the future and we're starting to see sellers. The April 18 straddle is trading for about $2.05, implying that the market isn't pricing in a ton of move over the next seven trading days in February. Another trade we saw was the February 20 quarter call spread, customer coming in selling that for 40 cents and the 2030 selling that for 52 and a half cents. So they're starting to pound February upside and February premium across the board while they're looking for the move in the back month futures by buying Vega in the back months. Very interesting trading going on right now. A lot of trading. Jamie Tyrrell with Group 1 Option Monster.